Because when Cho starts to go over him, he goes and reels her back in. She is Valentine's little fish. Don't Welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to a little bit more Rugs and Riches because I've been itching to get back into the series just because it's fun and it's hard and it's challenging and I'm kind of living for that right now. So I thought we would, I've kind of like fast forwarded through the night because I thought we'd be able to watch a beautiful Strangerville sunrise together. Where does the sun rise? The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. West, east. Sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Wait. <laughs> I think it rises in the east and sets in the west. Okay, that's the moon. So is the sun. No, that isn't, that's not how the sun and the moon work either. I want to watch the sunrise, but I don't know where it's going to come from. Oh, the sun's over there. Okay, God. Ah! We're ready. We're ready for this. Are you ready for a beautiful sunrise? It's going to be so romantic. Just me and you guys watching the sunrise. Come on, sun. Show us what you got. I mean, I was expecting... I, I was. Oh, there we go. I was expecting a bit of a more beautiful sunrise than that, but still, it's still quite nice to you guys. I was expecting, you know, the whole sky to go like red and stuff. Maybe I'm thinking of sunset, but she's up, but she needs a wee. Uh, she's hungry. Did we have any food? I, I had her in the park at the end of the last episode and I was meant to grab all the food from the park and I kind of forgot. However, we've got some fish, so that's fine. I'm gonna get her to cook some little fish. Oh, my speakers have just been like, yeah, you ain't, you ain't listening to this. We're powering off. Uh, she's feeling a bit emotion from her menstrual cycle. We've all been there, babes. She's a bit headachey. She's a bit hungry. And uh -huh. let us go ahead and roast ourselves a fish. And look how freaking cute her bed is. It has cookies on it. Although this must be torture. Because like Willow Bear loves a bit of bacon. She loves stuff like cookies. And she has to look at cookies on her bed while eating some smelly fish that she ate like two days ago. So not ideal behavior. And I'm now nervous about Sims feeling tense because Phoenix... The thing is, when um Abel... I feel like the... I've been like suppressing how sad I was that Abel died because my brain literally couldn't handle what happened. I know that Phoenix has died like I, it's all coming out and I just can't handle life. That is how I feel right now and it's not very nice. But yeah, ever since Abel died of a heart attack called by, caused by anger. But with Phoenix, she wasn't actually angry. Like she was like, I think she was tense. And she had, you know, from Road to Fame, this like emotional, this stupid emotional bomb thing that now Summer's got. And when you combine it with all of my other mods, what basically happens is Sims die real easily. It's really annoying and I don't really know a workaround from it. I think I'm gonna have to look at their traits and see if there's anything I can do to try and fix it a little bit. She's so mad. She wanted hot dogs. Fish is real healthy, okay? Fish is healthy and good for you. And then you can do a little bit of uh, gardening after that because this is looking a bit sad. Uh, oh, money! Yes, okay. Sell everything and do a little bit of weeding. I allow her to sell um, flowers directly. Although, could I be making an arrangement with them? Rose. Oh, requires fly ar flower arranging skill level two. I need to maybe try and find like a holly or like a chrysanthemum, a bluebell, a daisy. I feel like these are spring flowers and it is getting, oh my gosh, it's two days from winter. We need shelter before winter or else we can say die because that's what will happen. Uh, what's wrong with you? G get off your chair. Just go here. You're not trapped on a chair. Oh my gosh, the plate's trapping her. Are you actually joking me right now? Clean that up. Get a sign. <coughs> Shush you. Sign up me. Don't give, don't give me that flack. And then go and get yourself a nice brisk shower out in the outdoors. Like, it's a cool place to live. Don't you think it'd be so, like, there's nowhere in England that looks even remotely like this. So this to me is like exciting, cool, beautiful atmosphere. I like it a lot. The good news is she's reached garden in level two. So we can, oh, research. Ooh. Ooh, don't mind if I do. I think that means we'll be able to like start harvesting and growing more exotic plants. I'll do my usual little check around the neighborhood while she's showering. See if there's anything we can get. I keep trying to pick up this cactus and I don't even know why. Do a little dig of this, please. You guys were saying she should um, sell the violin, but like I sort of feel like, I don't know, violin holds a lot of like meaning in the Calorie Aiken family because James was really good at it and he played it like as a nice little romance thing. So I'm gonna ma make a fish with a puffer fish because I don't want to eat that in case I die. And plus, like, um, give a man a fish and he won't, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he'll never go hungry again. So if she sells the violin, yeah, she makes a quick 400 bucks. But if she makes money with it, it could be an unlimited source of money for her whole life. So, you know, I'm being smart. I'm being smart. Oh, her social's kind of low. 
I wonder if Jerome fancies fishing with us. I might see if he wants to come fishing with us. Just because otherwise it's going to be a little bit lonely for her, isn't it? Oh my gosh. We've caught a catfish. We're getting so much better at this fishing malarkey. Okay, so Ooh, Jerome has come cheeky. over. What's He's chit-chatting with our plants, which is real cute. I always That's seem right. to make the That's massive right. error of inviting him over when I need a wee. <laughs> Because then I have to go and pee in the bush in front of him, and it's so embarrassing. Oh, a, sh a shimmer pirate is here. A trick or treater. Oh my gosh, is it Halloween? Oh, I've got a trick or treater. Like, I've got nothing for you. Sorry, kiddo. You look really good, though. Well done. So these little cutie pies, they're just doing a bit of cloud gazing. I feel like we're quite kind of going back to basics here. There's no TV to watch. This trick or treater needs to just go, because I ain't got any sweets for you, kiddo. I ain't even got any sweets for myself. But we're just. <laughs> I was expected to look in the sky and see like, oh, that one looks like a llama. Oh, that one looks like a plum bob. But they're literally cloud gazing haze. There's nothing to look at, gang. What are you even doing? Oh my gosh, she could yeah, roast a beetle. I don't even know how to catch a beetle. Like, there's no bugs around here. And catching beetles also sounds kind of gross. And honestly, although I know not everyone will agree, everyone's got their preferences. Like, keep your head still. Keep your head still. I'm trying to look at you. I honestly think he has one of the best looking and most interesting faces of any of our sims. I didn't make him. He's one of your guys' oh, sims. And I don't know. But he's just doing it for me. I almost want to change his name because to me, he kind of looks like he's meant to be like, um, is it Native American Indian? Native Indian? Uh, oh, what is the right term? I want to get this right. American Indian. Like he seems like me, like he's from that kind of background. I'm looking at like which one's the biggest ones. It's got Nav Navajo. I don't know if I'm saying this right. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to be inclusive and sometimes it comes across like I'm trying to be offensive, but I'm not. Najavo Shiroki Sioux, S-I-O-U-X. I just, I, I would like the idea that he comes from one of those tribes. Do you guys like the idea as well? Let me know in the comments below and maybe we can uh, sort of change his name a little bit because I just feel like now you're stargazing together. How cute are you? There is actually a few stars. You can see them here because there's no light pollution. That's real nice. I just feel like he's meant to have that background and he's sitting on her bed right now, but I really want to get like another... I, I need a shelter. First of all, I'll make a shelter, but then I want to like add a few more like logs around the fire so they can kind of relax together around the fire. Oh, yeah. I think these guys, they have had the beginning of a little bit of, um, like, romance, but their current- I, I've never seen this pop up before. Their current relationship status is just good friends. It's a solid friendship built on trust and good memories. I like that they've kind of very much done a bit of a 180 in their relationship. Like, they've done two. They've done- Oh, wow, you're attractive. Why don't we meet up for a date? Oh my gosh, this is not what I was expecting at all. Like, oh, like, you're actually way cooler than I ever thought you were. So I like the changes relationship has gone, but I do want this to be Willow's story, not just about boys, you know? She's telling him a ghost story right now. I think she scared him a bit because he's like, look, it's at 11 p.m. I'll head off, but thanks for hanging out. <laughs> I want to give him a real cute, like, Shiroki Navajo. Navajo. If you, if you are literally watching this video and that is your heritage, please let me know in the comments below. Please let me know some ideas for how I could name him that is like, you know, a legit name because that would make me so happy. And I think it would be nice if you were from that background, you'd see yourself represented in my sim series, which I always like. So please, please, please let me know. I think a toilet has to be one of the next things we get her. And this plate bug is actually stressing me out so much. I think there's something so like cute and wholesome about sleeping next to a fire. Whenever I go to my grandma's house in Ireland in the winter, she like lights the fire in the room I sleep in and it's so nice going to sleep to like an actual real fire that like crackles and oh it's just so nice oh bless her she's caught a cold i'm not surprised she's got a cold because like it's we're on day 27 of 30 of autumn so you're gonna be cold my love oh my gosh she's hungry why am i not eating right now <laughs> Oh my gosh, be careful, Willow. How are you not better at lighting fire now? You should be an absolute pro at this point. And I think this is her last fish. She was meant to go fishing with Jerome, but they spent the whole time stargazing and cloud gazing like cutie pies. Oh, she, when she gets to go to level eight, she can super sell. Oh, don't even know what that means, but I'm excited about it. So we're doing a little bit of a yard sale. She's trying to get a bit more money so I can build a shelter. Because I feel like she must be missing Chase so much. Oh, yay, yeah, somebody bought somebody. Somebody bought somebody. 
Nobody knows, but he bought something. This ain't a human trafficking stall, okay? Uh, I feel like she must be missing Chase loads, but she didn't want to invite him over and for him to like see how she lives right now. So I need to get it into a bit of a better place. Have with you drinking my coffee. Somebody bought something for 200 pounds. <gasps> That's so good. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling awesome about that. Also, we've got some more stuff to sell. Uh, and can you not come over and play my violin? Like, that's so rude. <gasps> Look. Oh my gosh, this person is a home wrecker for our actual home right now. She needs to, like, we need to go over and be mad at her. She's, like, not allowed to buy it from our store. I'm glad you're angry. I'm glad your life's going angry. Wow, this woman's got some interest in makeup on. <gasps> We're making, oh my gosh, I have 700 pounds. <laughs> Look, she's like, you broke my mother's heart. You need to go away. I can't actually believe we've got 700 pounds. I'm so proud of my little willow bear. We did such a good job. Oh my gosh, I've sold everything apart from the cow plant berries. Like, what? Oops, I just told that person to go away, not to buy. And is this person cheering me out? Are you actually kidding me right now, babes? Are you joking? Oh my gosh, what did someone just buy for 500 pounds? This has been the most successful day ever. I don't know why we're doing so much better, but we really are. Oh my gosh, I have 1,200 pounds. I'm gonna build a rudimentary shelter. What do they look like? What do they look like? I can build them in like arc and stuff, but like I don't know how to build them in sims. I guess I'll just have to make it look like it could have been built by hand. I think that's the way I will do it. Oh man, I forgot how expensive building things is. I think I'm gonna go for this shabby because it looks like it could be real. That's the way I'm gonna do it. And then a little roof. And what about a little thatched roof? I don't know if you get these in America, but they're not uncommon in the UK. Like, I see quite a few thatched roofs in the UK, especially where we live. It's kind of like a cute, rusticy kind of feature. Oh, I can afford a toilet. This is huge! <laughs> Guys, we have a toilet. I don't think I can afford a door. <laughs> so, uh, I don't have a door. <laughs> I mean, I can't even afford to cover that, so. But still, look, we have a little rudimentary home. Look, I'm gonna build like a little fancy bit around there. I know it's like mega basic, but can I afford another stool yet? How much are they? Oh, they're 95 pounds. But I don't care, like, this is more than we've ever had in our whole lives, and I'm so proud of her right now. Oh my gosh, someone just bought something else! How did I just get 500 pounds? I wish it was, like, the old game where you could click this and see, like, how you got the money. Because I have no idea how I just got that money, but you know I'm gonna spend it. Get a little stool so we can sit together like absolute little cutie beans. And then I need a rusticy looking door. Uh, oh my gosh, she'd have to crawl through that. There we go. A cute little uh, blue door. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh, I need five more dollars now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe I have to delete the gate for now. But then they can't get in. <laughs> but I want to put like this in here. So it's like a little place to like do your fire. No. <laughs> She's just not going to be able to get in it for a bit. <laughs> oh, wait. I can put a trip house in the game. For now. Okay. I'll get something better in the meantime. But look at this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's actually done enough to have this. That's so crazy to me. And you need to just leave. Can you just leave, please? Uh, wow. Wow, no, no. You don't get, no. Oh my gosh, please don't add a log to my fire. You just need to go away. Please don't wash your hands in my sink. Oh my gosh, strangers just go. You especially, you just need to go away. Do you want your outfit to be mocked? Oh, Chase is calling her. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I, oh, why are you so angry? Oh, from talking to that div. Uh, I sort of feel like she's not really, look at her house, I'm so proud. Um, I sort of feel like we need a little bit more going on before we invite Chase around. I feel like, although I'm, I'm just realized I can sell this. Although I'm super proud of her for this, I'm not actually sure if it's gonna scare Chase if he sees where his sister lives. Oh my gosh, how nice is this? I feel like we need to work our way up to that, but it's so nice. Literally one day of making money and I'm so happy it's untrue. We'll get there. We'll get there and make something super amazing. I can just feel it. We're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look who's just shown up. Oh, hello. Hello. Out of nowhere, just popping over to say hello. 
Didn't even get a notification, but okay. Chase has spread some juicy gossip about Seb, but okay then. Uh, I'm feeling kind of hungry. So if you want to like uh, just make some uh, some hot dogs, that would be great. She's in a bad mood. I'm just going to warm you there, Jeff. Face. It's that stupid woman that had the affair with Chase. She's put her in such a bad mood. Oh my gosh, please stop just toasting marshmallows. I could really do with some food. I'm pretty hungry and I don't want to go to bed hungry. Although we've had to do that many times. Oh, and he's put her in a good mood from hanging out around the campfire. I didn't even invite him around, but because he's got... I, I mean, she says she's got a residence key. I don't know how, but she says she does. I think he's just like keeps coming around to check up on her. Guys, he's a sweetheart. He is legit a sweetheart and I'm there for it. I'm so there for it. I wish he was a sweetheart that fancied a hot dog because I kind of need that right now. Oh my gosh. She's telling a flirtatious joke. Oh, he just got a hot dog. <gasps> Oh my gosh, he's so he just got a, she told the flirtatious joke and he's like, oh well done, here's a hot dog. <laughs> That is what I need in my life. Someone that just hands me a hot dog every time I make a flirtatious joke. That would be grand. Oh, she's woken up feeling tense. So she wanted to go for a jog to clear mind. Look how angry her face is. <laughs> it's the most angry jog I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Okay, it's just... A oh! It's because Zombie Sage is here. Looking pretty creepy, I have to say. Okay, I like how a jog turned into this. I don't think I've ever seen her actually be like, you know what? I want to go for a jog today. So I'm real proud of her for that. And she's just caught herself a little salmon for breakfast. A little smoked sa Ooh, and a sapphire. Ooh, call the geo council about it. I'm going to send it to a jeweler for refinement so that we can sell it for even more money. And then we've got some plants to sell. We've got a little fish to cook. Jerome is back. He likes hanging out here. I've noticed he's coming around almost every day now. Looking uh, pretty fine in his warmer weather, dear. I need to stop perving on Jerome. He's faster than into my favorite looking sim in any series. At least until min ages up. Look at him. Look at the little scar on his nose. He's just got such an interesting face. Like, I love when people have like freckles and scars and imperfections and marks. Like, Ali's got a scar here on the side of his face. When he smiles, it's like really obvious and I love it so much. Oh, Noelle has invited you out. You know what? She's invited you to go to another place. She's a big sis. I say we go for a gang. And it's raining here. <laughs> this used to be our shower. Oh, and apparently there's a DJ set going on. Okay, that's pretty cool. I just wish it wasn't raining. It's literally heavy rain. We can't even buy drinks unless we just steal them from other people. At least we can catch up with Noelle. Noelle looking fierce in her... Uh, is it like leopard print? Oh wow, she acting fierce too. What are you so mad about, babes? Is she annoyed that uh, I apologize to her? Oh my gosh, Noelle, no. Is she like a little bit annoyed about Willa? Like, why have you turned up like this? Why are you doing this in your life? Why can't you just like, just be normal? We've come from a wealthy family. I take advantage of that. And Willa's like, no, that ain't me. Oh, Chase is here too, you guys. Looking so handsome. They're a good looking family, aren't they? And I think the saddest thing of all is that the TJ won't even perform in the rain. So, oh my gosh. And also, I just saw her rock up and be a little bit flirty with Chase. I'm going to keep an eye on this, but that's obviously Nathan's girlfriend. But these two always also had a flirtation. So I'm kind of intrigued to see where this goes. Oh my gosh, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look, at just, I just keep an eye on these two. And that, my favorite part of like the whole of Sims is background drama that happens between Sims i can't control so i'm enjoying this quite a lot and i feel like at this point willow's a little bit more at home in front of a fire than she is socializing yeah <laughs> who is getting like a naked shower over here what on earth what on earth is that albie as well yeah albie's here too everyone's feeling tense oh yeah look hello phoenix is ghost i think they're feeling tense because like the weather oh and i don't know when it happened but we're in winter i never got the pop-up but we are officially in winter now. Oh, and a sad little Indies turned up as well. Uh, not Indies, sorry, Violet. Why is everyone so sad? Like, this slice of life has had, like, the added impact of making, like, everybody miserable all the time. Oh, she's here again. The homewrecker girl. Dislike. Dislike immensely. I'm kind of disappointed that Jerome's not here. I'm just putting it out there. I kind of am. Um, yeah. <laughs> I feel at this point, Willow is pretty much not that connected with the rest of reality at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so when I said I already had a most attractive sim, I clearly forgot about best boys Fran 
and uh, Akira because they are both so handsome as well. Oh, guys, look. Fran's still really torn up about Phoenix. The poor, beautiful face. The DJ started, but she's garbage. And I think I think it's time to win this dance party, okay? It wasn't great. It was just rainy, but it was nice to catch up with Noelle and Chase. Even though Chase actually spent the whole night talking to Nathan's girlfriend. Oh my gosh, so many people. <laughs> oh, I just got the Windsor notification, but I was actually just moving my mailbox. I'm kind of enjoying like light blue as like the theme of the house. So yeah, how cute. Little light blue mailbox. Oh, and we've got something for the element collection. Ozanai. Oh, it kind of looked better as a big old crystal, didn't it? Oh, well, I need to stock my table. And you need a little bit more to sell. This is not really a great deal there. Oh, she's feeling overwhelmed about something Stop. again. She has, have, like, she does have a stressful life. The good news is that now every time she's feeling stressed, she actually has a positive way of outletting her stress, which is to go for a little jog, which I fully support. Let's do a foraging day. I love a good foraging day. Let's see. Why doesn't Chase come with us? Why don't we see if Valentine wants to come? Her big crush. Her big old crush. Oh, honestly, I've not noticed her thinking about him so much recently which could be a good thing okay hey gang along hello trendies hello gucci boy love the headband chasey kins and it looks like we're not the only people struggling at the moment i sometimes see people sleeping in the park that in my head i assume are like homeless people because you don't really get it in sims otherwise and obviously it's a pretty sad but realistic part of life isn't it oh yes guys we've caught some breakfast fry up some little fishies i, I th i'm hoping this is like a big portion so that these guys can have a little bit as well see how generous is this literally she's starving but she's still allowing people to eat some of her fishy and uh oh <laughs> She's kind of getting the chance to hang out with uh, Valentine. Like, if you guys have, don't recognize him, she is his biggest crush. No, he is her biggest crush ever, but he just doesn't really see her that way, unfortunately. She went and sat next to him then, and now he's kind of gone away. However, I'm feeling like this evolution of Willow means that she l cares a little bit less about Valentine and, like, that sort of drama. And actually, instead of asking Valentine to push her on the swing, she's asking twin bro Chase, which is way cuter, I think, anyway. I feel like we've got, like, a better Willow, like, a more grounded willow who knows a little bit more about herself and i can see something glittering over here oh yes 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 pears oh my gosh pears i forgot we were meant to be foraging oh my gosh this is amazing there's so much stuff oh my gosh we're gonna be eating for days at this point this is such a good place to forage i'm so happy i can start breeding frogs again Ooh. oh lust oh my gosh she's feeling lust I'm not, I'm not sure how great this is when she is out with uh, Valentine. I hope she doesn't do something stupid. Okay, it's getting kind of late, so this is a big step for her. She's going to show a family member what her house looks like. She's going to show Twin Arena Chase, because I feel like twins should be a no-judgment zone. You'd hope. Okay, gang, this is where I live. This is like my little house. Uh, I live in here. It's pretty basic. Oh, and he's in a floaty mood too. They're both in a floaty mood. I'm going to see if anything naturally develops or if they just keep chit-chatting. Because Valentine is, let's face it, a beautiful but also a very flirty sim. Look at his red little cheeks. He's so cute. No. He's definitely just like keeping things very platonic though. Oh my gosh, and she wants to kiss someone. She's never been kissed. Like the poor little baby has never been kissed. Uh, and I want to see what goes on here. I want to see what goes on here. I always uh, think like before when she was like kid, <laughs> sis kid sister, like he wasn't interested. But now maybe that she's like going out on her own and being all cool and independent. He's actually like, ah. Oh, Maybe I can give her another oh. look in now. But on the other hand, Jerome kind of saw her in all states of life, not just independent, successful Willow. So I don't know. What do you guys think? <gasps> oh my God, he just blew a kiss at her. He just blew a kiss at her. He literally just, he flirted with her. He just flirted with her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, if I was Chase, I'd be a little bit like, look, dude, aren't you kind of like dating, but not with our cousin? And now you're flirting with my sister. Like what's going on? What's going on? They're heading off home now. But he actually flirted with her just when she was starting to get over. Him. He goes and reels her back in. He's like the fish she has to catch. No, she to him is like the fish 
She has to catch every morning for breakfast. She is Valentine's little fish. Okay, we've got fried fish in our venture and we've got pears. Oh, should we try and plant a pear tree? I feel like we should. Oh, yes, we can plant a pear tree. Ooh, I can evolve this. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh. Oh, it's evolved. Oh, wow. And she's so happy today. She's riding this high from being flirted with by uh, Valentine. Be careful, Willow Bear, okay? Like, you're doing so well on your own and, like, growing into your own person. You don't want to, like, just end up getting obsessed with him again. And it lead into you, like, spiraling in sadness. Okay, I've set the mark up to 300%. So, hopefully, we get a little bit more cash today. Um, we can extend our beautiful home even more. A hundred dollars already. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, Joseph. Hey, Joseph. <gasps> yes, he just spent oh, 240 cool. simoleons. I actually said simoleons for once <laughs> as well. I think it helps as well, but now when she's trying to sell, she's like actually not like in a smelly, gross mess crying. She's happy. She's like in a good mood. She's clean. She's dressed. It's all going real well. And her covers is getting better too. Oh, we've made another thousand pounds. Oh my God. <gasps> 720! I've nearly sold everything. This is so exciting. Okay, we made two and a half thousand pounds today. I'm wondering how much the cupcake um thing is, because we might be able to buy one of those. Oh <gasps> She can afford a cupcake cat factory. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is freaking huge. We can afford a cupcake factory. How amazing is this? Oh my gosh, I am so proud of our little Googie. I want to see if I can get her a proper bed so she can stop sleeping on a camp, like a camp bed. Oh my gosh, I can actually get her a cute little bed. <gasps> Still super tiny and cute, but it's starting to turn into a proper little home. And I feel emotion. <laughs> And honestly, having this changes everything because I can bake cupcakes and sell them now. This is huge. And oh my gosh, she's about to do her first bit of baking since we moved here. This is insane. I can't believe how well she's done in this episode. It's like everything has just suddenly changed. She just like leveled up her life hugely. Oh my gosh, don't eat them. Don't eat them. You could sell them to a local bakery. <gasps> yes, she's a baker again, you guys. And you know what? After all this hard work, I feel like you deserve a cupcake, okay? You 100% deserve one of your own little cupcakes. Look how happy she is. She's like, yay, I made this. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And now Valentine's just message is saying, I can't get you out of my mind. Want to go on a date and some dinner at the Riverdale Pop oh, Chocolate? Oh, oh, Guys, what does she do? She literally had to go into the wilderness with nothing just to help her get a life back in order after being heartbroken by this dude. You actually met someone that helped her bet herself. And now Suddenly, he's back interested in it. Are you joking me? Life is not meant to be this hard. It is not meant to be this hard. Guys, what do I do? You're gonna have to let me know in the comments below. Does she go for a date with Valentine? Or should she give somebody else a call? Somebody that's actually been here, helped her, given her food, cooked with her, given her support, that listened to her when she's been angry and ragey and cheered her up when she's been sad. Or somebody that she just finds real hot. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments below. Hello. This game makes its own drama for me and I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please, please, please let me know what we do in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.